Hey, this is Alex Allgood from Bra Productions, and I'm here today to show you how to make sick video intros for your videos. Now, this goes out to any Sony Vegas, Sony Vegas Pro to Sony Vegas Movie Studio, um, so you should be set. Now, let's see what we're going to work on today. Yeah. That's pretty sick. I know. I know you don't got to tell me. It's crazy awesome. All right. So, uh, let's get started. Now, I have this piece of stock footage from videocopilot.net. Um, you can use any any picture you want. You can have a video in the background, black, whatever, whatever, whatever floats your boat. But, so we got this, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a text. We'll go to the insert text media now this comes up don't be scared and then you're gonna type what you want bra productions and then we'll go I use freak out go bananas <laughs> it's crazy awesome font um, so there we go we got that and oh hold on that should be in pre we'll put it on preview auto which normally works for everything but um, we got our text media, and if we zoom in with the scroll wheel on my mouse, you will see this little movie-looking thing, and that, that opens this window back up. Now, from this window, actually, you know what we should do first? Um, we should exit out of this, and let's create a new video bar. There we go. That's on the bottom, and then we'll just drag this on top. It's all about the layers. All right, we'll go back to here, and then we will add some shadow. Now, all the stock settings are usually good in Vegas for shadow, so we'll leave that where it is. That looks great. And then, and then we'll put it at the beginning of our uh, intro. I want to say comp, but that's After Effects. Um, if I say anything like that, excuse me. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I normally don't do intros and this kind of editing in Vegas, but, you know, here we go. We're doing it, me and you together. All right, so... Let's animate this in 3D. That's really cool. Um, I'm pretty sure Movie Studio doesn't have 3D, but you can just rotate the comp and do this. Um, or you can just blur it in, whatever you want. But actually, we'll just blur it in for now. You People who have the 3D um, setting, which is that 3D Source Alpha um, and Pro, obviously know how to use it. They can just do that little turn I did at the beginning. So, but we'll go... To transitions in the tab right here and we'll go to cross effect and what I found dandy was cross blur a dash B we'll drag that on there Hello? and what Can I, I can't to talk mother? I can't talk oh geez that's my mother um, so we're going to make this animate Oh, wrong button we're gonna click this button vent pan crop the middle one. All right, so then, oh, can't see it. Now, this comes in, and this is keyframes. Okay, I'm, I'm getting way too basic here. But we're going to go to the end of the comp, and we're going to zoom in. Make it make it just come at us. And then from there, you want to highlight both, both keyframes, right-click, and click smooth. This will make it to where it's easy in and out. And then, oh, there we go. Now, copy this. We're going to go Control-C, you know, just standard Windows copy, hotkey, then Control-V. And it's going to ask us if we want to create a reference or new copy. Reference means it's two copies, and if you change one, both of them change. And we don't want that. Um, so we're going to create a new copy. And then we're going to go back to the text media, and we're going to change it to something else. Now, you don't really have to put this in. It's just if you want to put something else. But you can, you know, you can put in whatever you want. You don't have to, you don't have to be a copycat, even though I'm perfectly okay with that. Now, let's make a new video thing for that. There we go. For the uh, presents, we're going to go to this. And down here on the keyframes... Um, I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, well, we'll do it this way. We'll delete We'll delete the one we created before, which is at the bottom. And now we have the first keyframe, and we're going to zoom in on that one. We're just basically doing it doing it backwards. So when the, when the uh, transition happens, it, it, uh, it, 
it goes upon itself. And I restored it by right clicking in the middle and clicking restore, and that gets us back to normal, I guess. And then we will smooth this out again. Smooth. Oh, that's already smooth. All right. So there we go. Oh, this looks great already. All right. Um, then we're gonna create a fade on the Broad Productions, a, a blur, like a lens blur type effect that makes it kind of like depth of fieldish, which really brings out the presents, and it just, it just looks really professional in in my view. But we're going to to extend Broad Productions or your first text all the way to the same length as the presents. Then we're going to get the video effects and go to Gaijin Blur. I, I don't know how to pronounce that, but then we're going to drag it onto Broad Productions. Now, we're going to keyframe this to come in when we want. If we drag the little keyframe thing right here, we can see where we want it to be in our comp. And right there is perfect. So we're going to drag this, right? Actually, let's drag, let's drag that right there. And then where we want to start is at zero and then blurs out to that. Oh, it looks great. You guys will figure it out. <laughs> and we'll also put a smooth effect on that. So now, if we look at it, it's a little fast. Yeah, a little fast. We'll, we'll fix that. Oh, wrong button. There we go. All right, so still wrong button. That one, the bottom one is for the effects. So we'll just get this and drag those two out a little bit and that should be good. Now, I'm not paying attention to the presents right now, but the broad production looks great. So we'll extend that a little bit and then we will, we'll add the fade to the presents and then we'll right click, click fade type and then put a fade on it, which that's how you get back to the normal like default fade if you put a transition you don't want. And if we look at it now, oh, it looks awesome. I've never seen anything that cool. All right, so to get that cool chrome spotlight look on the text that I did, I thought it turned out pretty cool. I went to video effects. Um, what did I do? <laughs> oh, I went to bump map. And then you want to click lower left spotlight. We'll drag that onto the productions. And then, um, you know, you can you adjust this really how you like it, you know. You can see that. Take the bump height down a little bit. The ambience. There's, it's a really, really uh, powerful effect, in, in my opinion. Um, you can do a lot of cool things. You can make it so customized. And then we'll drag the same one onto presents. And we'll just kind of move the little, well, let's put it right there. We'll move this till we get it to where we want it. Like... That, that, look, that looks pretty good. So in all, give me a little choppy. Uh, oh, man. And fades out. That looks good. Now for ending, we'll, what I did in the other video is um, I made bra productions in the background fade out. So go back to transitions, go to cross blur, and add that to the bra productions. So now these two blur out together can't really it's gonna be choppy what I like to do when I end stuff is my your main your main uh, your main topic that right, your thing I don't really I'm my brain's dead right now sorry um, but where it says presents will make that fade out a tad bit longer so when it fades it kind of it sticks out like that. You can't really tell if you could, but you can see in the other video in the test one. But that just looks really good. And that's really all you need to know. And in the test video, I had some audio. All the audio was from Video Copilot, Designer Sound Effects, and uh, Pro Scores. You can check those products out too. They're great. They, they help you in so many ways. And they're all royalty free. So, you know, YouTube can't, you know, hey, say, hey, copyright music. <laughs> Take out your audio. That's oh, so annoying. Um, but, yeah, so... I hope you learned a lot from this. Uh, I like I like doing it. If I really want to make some more tutorials, so if you have any ideas on on really any programs, After Effects, mainly Sony Vegas, because I know a lot of people have it, and it's it's a great program. We can do a lot, and I know a lot about it. So you know, just uh, leave me a comment of anything you want to learn, and I'll be sure to make a tutorial of it. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, check out our videos.